what if GT Goku was reborn with his memories and powers part 3? Now seeing as you guys really enjoyed the second part, and I also left a pretty good cliffhanger, and also seeing that you guys easily destroyed the light goal, which I don't understand how that's possible, I gave you guys an impossible task. So how about this time, we're breaking it again. 300 likes. If we can get the 300 likes, I'll do the next part. And next time, I'll make the next part bigger, better than ever. I'm talking longer than 30 minutes. It will be my longest single what if video that I will do. And it will be jam packed with stuff that you will be absolutely founded on with what I have set up for. If we can reach that like goal of 300, then we can do it. I will show you guys something you have never seen before. And you guys know I've never let you down yet, so let's do this. Also, let's get to 10,000 subscribers. I mean, think about it. I have thousands of people watch my video, but not that all of them subscribe. But I would, I would be past 10,000 at this point. So maybe if you press subscribe and press that bell icon as well, which doesn't do that good anyway. It barely shows anything. But mainly press the like button so I can continue, because I have a lot of ideas for this. Then... It will give me motivation to do it. So let's do that, all right? Can we all do this? Can we work together on this? All right? Good, I'm, I'm forcing you to. So press the button right now. Press it now. Anyway, all jokes aside, if we get to 300 likes, I will actually continue the series and do the longest What If episode single that I have done. It will be longer than 30 minutes. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video. We last kicked off with Frieza being absolutely obliterated by Goku, Vegeta, and Nappa, and Raditz. Now, of course, Goku did give them the chance to kill him on their own, which they respect him for that. Now, years would actually pass, and peace was actually restored on Earth. The only thing that Goku was a little bit worried about was that he knows that the heart virus is going to be coming, but he doesn't know when exactly, but he knows it's near the time when the androids appear. Remember, it's, it's been about 30 plus years since the androids for Goku, or even longer now, so he doesn't remember the exact day when it happened. But he's not worried about it, as he does have repercussions in case it does. Bulma, with the help of Goku, Bulma would actually figure out a way to study the heart virus that's already in Goku growing right now, and have a medicine already early, that would actually help out and help Goku. So in this timeline, Goku wouldn't necessarily die, he would just have the medicine. But the medicine will keep him knocked out for longer than before in the original. Now as two to three years pass, life was very enjoyable. There was no androids, Goku knew the heart virus was coming, but he'll take it as he has the medicine and he'll be okay. And even if he dies, he's sure that maybe King Yemma will give him a solid and help him out. Or, I mean, he's not truly upset and here he also remembers that if the earth does truly need him he can also use Bubba to bring it back for 24 hours to take down a major threat now he did just to be sure he wants to be sure that everybody is strong enough to defend earth if he's not here he does know of Majin Buu that is the main threat but he knows that with Vegeta Nappa and Raditz and the other Z fighters plus his son they can all do it so Goku actually has been training Gohan a lot more Gohan still does school, but with Goku spending more time with him and Chi-Chi not really Goku just telling Chi-Chi and explaining it better, Chi-Chi would actually understand and let Gohan basically do a lot more training than did in the original. Now, if you know how busted Gohan is with his potential, Gohan at this point, after the three years hitting up near the Android Saga, Gohan is way more powerful than the original. This version of Gohan is not as powerful as he was, when he fought Cell, but he is very close to that. And Gohan is starting to learn to become a Super Saiyan, but not yet. He has tapped into it for a little bit, but he hasn't officially learned how to control it or nothing like that. But he's getting there, which is very impressive for his age. Now the main thing that he's actually working on is Vegeta. Vegeta and Raditz and Nappa. Now, Nappa and Raditz have been keeping up, but with Vegeta having more natural talent than both of them, he's already surpassed them. Now, Goku does ha and will. He already taught Raditz and Nappa how to turn Super Saiyan. Now, remember, Goku has known it for so long that he can easily teach them. 
Now, Goku was trying to teach Raditz and Nappa to tap into the next level. But this is proving pretty difficult, but Goku understands that with time, they'll, they'll learn it no problem. Now, Vegeta already learned Super Saiyan faster than even they did. Uh, he had more trouble, but he was able to figure it out. Now, this is actually Goku's main step that he wants to do. Now, it is true, though, that Vegeta needs his tail. So, if you remember, Goku all the way back in the Saiyan Saga did not destroy his tail. So, luckily, Vegeta still has it today. Now, Goku would explain how the Super Saiyan 4 transformation works. He's already shown them all the Super Saiyan forms, but he knows that all you need is the Great 8 form in Super Saiyan. And he knows that Vegeta can actually control his Great Ape state very easily now, since it's not been so many years since he's done it, and he knows how to control it. So he can easily learn Super Saiyan 4. A lot more easier than losing control. And they just do that. Once when a full moon hit, Vegeta would then transform into a Great Ape, and push his Great Ape body to the limit, and get a golden hue on his body. Now, once when that happens, Vegeta can control the power and harness it, and he has become a Super Saiyan 4. He was ecstatic. He has finally, finally ascended to the next level. Now, of course, Nappa and Raditz do want to do this as well, but Goku knows that as of right now, they're not just ready yet. Because... Nappa has not turned into a great ape in a very, very, very long time. He never needed to. Nor did Raditz as well. So, Goku wants them to try to work on controlling the great ape form first, and then being able to get Super Saiyan 4. And they understand that. But they also want to work hard for it and kind of build it up. So, for right now, Vegeta, that's all that's needed right now. But Goku can't train three people at the same time. He has to focus. Remember, he's try mainly working on his son, but he's doing it for Vegeta as well because he knows that he will need Vegeta when the time comes, if anything happens. Because now that Vegeta knows it, Vegeta will definitely teach Nappa, and they'll teach Raditz how to do it, so he's passing it down. Now, during this time, King Cold and also Cooler have actually been training. They have been training for the past couple of months now to get stronger. And if you guys know, they are not a prodigy like how Frieza was. Now, Frieza was stated to be a natural prodigy among his species. That is why he's so powerful and very, very, very underrated when it comes to him training for a short period of time. So we all know that after cooling them train for multiple months, you can even say a year... They are extremely powerful here. They're not as powerful as Frieza was, but they're very powerful. Now, Cooler and King Cold would arrive on Earth. All the Z Fighters would show up and see what's going on. Now, the most dangerous one here is actually Cooler. Cooler is actually the more powerful one. King Cold was kind of lazy. While it is true he did train and get a little bit stronger, Cooler actually took it the most serious and pushed his body past its limits. Now, once when all this is said and done, King Cold would then showcase his fifth form. As you guys remember, King Cold is only in his second form, and he's nearly as strong as Frieza. So imagine if he went into a fourth or fifth form. He is very powerful. I would say that he is near the power of Cell. Now, luckily, with Raditz, Nappa, and not to mention all the other Z Fighters who have been training very hard, not to mention, too, Gohan here, at this point, has learned to be able to tap into Super Saiyan, but it's still not a full, like, mastery of it at all. They would all tag up and go attack King Cold, who definitely, definitely Raditz and Nappa would give him the most trouble. Because those guys are not weak by any means necessary, they are in the Cell Saga levels of power, especially in Super Saiyan here. Now Goku, and, now, Goku would actually get a little bit serious, and he knows that this version of Cooler is very powerful. He looks a lot like Frieza, but it's not. Now Vegeta, now Vegeta will kind of say who he is, saying that this is Cooler, he's very dangerous, and his power level is insane. Now Cooler would then showcase his, his four form, as he would use the full power in that state. Now Goku and Cooler would actually fight both in base form, and Goku is still stronger than Cooler, but Cooler was able to keep up with Goku a little bit. Now once when Goku backs off, Vegeta wants to have a turn at him, right away. Now, Goku does kind of think it kind of sucks. He's been having a little bit of fun fighting, but he'll let Vegeta fight. And Cooler actually does want to fight Vegeta, as he does kind of want to see what else the Saiyan wants to do. But he does want to fight Goku for the main one. 
So that's exactly what they do. Now Vegeta and Cooler would actually be a way closer battle here, with Vegeta actually having to go Super Saiyan to actually keep up with 4th form Cooler. Now Cooler would then come in the Saiyan and then he would go into his 5th form. Now he would actually point a finger saying now I'm ready to fight you. Now Goku was actually kind of surprised by there's a 5th transformation, not to mention too how powerful he is, Frieza's never done that before. Now Vegeta would then smirk and showcase Super Saiyan 4. Now these two would begin their battle here. Now Cooler at this point in time would still be stronger than Vegeta. But Vegeta was able to put up a pretty decent fight. Vegeta in Super Saiyan 4 is easily higher than Buu Saga levels here. Now not to mention the fact that Cooler has been training for nearly a year. He does have good potential but not like Frieza. He has something under his sleeve. Now Vegeta would end up losing the fight. Because Cooler in his 5th form has no stamina drawbacks or nothing, and he is more superior to Vegeta right now. So, Vegeta would then lose his form, and Cooler would break his arm and kick him to the side. Now, this is when he points a finger at Goku, but Cooler was, had actually some battle damage on him, and they would begin their battle. Now, all Goku truly needs is Goku just needs Super Saiyan 3. He wants to push himself a little bit and see what Cooler has. Now, Goku has been training Super Saiyan 3. It still does drain a pretty good amount of energy, but not nearly as much as it used to in the original. Not to mention now that Goku's a full-fledged adult and he can hold the form a lot better. So the two would begin their battle, and Goku and Cooler would be pretty evenly matched here. Or you think. Goku would actually be overpowering Cooler as he would showcase more of his full potential here, as you guys remember how powerful this version of Goku is. Now Cooler at this time would end up smirking and showcasing that I have more to show, and Goku would smirk as well, saying I know you've been hiding something, so why don't we throw all our cards out on the table, you show your power and I will show mine. And Cooler does just that. Cooler would then grow a little bit more in size, and he would be in his golden fifth form. He made it golden because that was the same color that Goku had and the other Saiyans had when they did kill Frieza. I'm just kidding, that didn't happen. But Cooler wanted to make it golden because of the Super Saiyan and how it's a gold color. And it's also an excuse as it's golden cooler, so who doesn't want to do that? Now Cooler would then fly in and begin attacking Goku here. Now Goku would showcase Super Saiyan 4 bursting into it as the two would begin their battle. Now, cutting back to the Z Fighters, Raditz and Nappa were both panning and had some battle damage, same with King Cold. All the Z Fighters were badly injured and tired after having an intense battle. They're all of them versus King Cold at the same time, they're pretty much an even fight. Now, Nappa would look at Raditz and he would think, well, what else are we going to do? There's not much more that we can truly do against this guy. And then they would look at Gohan and they would think, well, maybe we can give our energy to each other and we can overpower him that way. Now they all think about it and they think, alright, sure. Now all of them would give their energy to Raditz and Raditz would then get a massive buff in power, nearly higher than full strength, and he would be able to then beat down on King Cold, having a nearly impossible fight. And King Cold would then start begging for mercy, telling him, saying, no, look, we can work with this if you let me go. But Raditz is not very nice. Raditz would then aim and use every ounce of power that he has and completely kill King Cold. There was nothing left of the king of the universe. Nothing left at all. His empire was gone. He was gone. All that's left was Cooler. The Z Fighters had no energy left as they fall to the ground watching Goku fight Cooler. As Vegeta was pissed off that, that this form was still not able to beat Cooler, but he at least he was able to give it full power and see what he can do. And now they know that Goku will be able to handle this. Now Goku at this point is still holding back a tremendous amount of power here, not even trying. But he wants to see how powerful Cooler truly is, and Cooler's definitely showing him that he is very powerful. Now after this fight is done, Goku would then showcase his full power for the first time. Now this would make far off in the galaxy, this would make a cat kind of sniffle a little bit and twitch in his sleep. His name was Lord Beerus, as even Whis would be drinking tea, as he would stop and sense that power, and he was like, oh my, what is that? As the whole Universe 7 shook. But now then Goku would then charge a Kamehameha and state, I, I would offer you to leave, but there is no justice with your kind. And he would completely obliterate Cooler, making sure that there was no trace of him left, and he was gone, back to the afterlife. 
Now, Goku would obviously help everybody up. They would all heal their injuries. And then Goku was hit with the heart virus. Now, Goku would then collapse as he was starting to sweat badly. And he knew that it was happening. He needs some medicine now. So, the weeks would pass on. And Goku was unconscious. Slowly healing up. And slowly trying to get better. And that is it for this What If You Guys. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Like I said before, let's get to 300 likes. If we get to 300 likes, I will continue the series. And the next episode will be the longest, aka the longest, single episode that I have done in my What If journey. It will be well over 30 minutes long for a single part. But that's all up to you guys. If you guys can prove to me and you guys want to see it, post in the comments down below and post your like and subscribe to the channel and I will do this. Anyway, that's it for the video, you guys. Let's get to 10,000 subscribers and I will talk to you all later.